there's nothing better than getting revenge on your oldest sibling. Take this! <sighs> See, your oldest sibling gets all the privilege. He's in charge when your parents leave the house. Your accomplishments are always compared to his. He's bigger, faster, stronger, maybe even smarter. All you can do is sit back and wait to fuck this up. Now my brother and I were a few years apart, which meant, for the most part, he's in charge. Now don't get me wrong, we were tight, tight as brothers could be, but at the same time, we were boys, and boys are gonna be boys. See, it's human nature for brothers to fight. Picture being stuck with someone close to your age your whole lives. I'm talking sleeping in the same room, eating the same meal, going to the same school, having the same parents. Now, since I'm the younger sibling, I can only imagine the pain it must feel for an older sibling to see the new kid in town. Man, f this baby. This man is your natural nemesis, the Joker to your Batman. But when things go left, the Robin to your Batman. Now, when he came to putting hands on my brother, I lost damn near every fight. This fool will fold me on GP. Come on, my guy. See, I was smaller, which meant all I needed was time. Time to grow and prove our fights, fights. And that, my guy, is where this story begins. So, for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to the day I got revenge on my brother. So, it was my eighth Christmas season. Now, at the time, my dad had just brought me a brand new CD player. Now, I know most of you kids have no recollection of a portable CD player, so just for reference, picture your smartphone. Now, take out all the apps, except your music app, but you gotta insert CDs in order for your favorite song to play. Ah, that's it. An old school CD player. Life before the smartphone. See, my bus ride to school was an hour drive, which was the only reason my pops bought me the CD player in the first place. So one day your boy got up early for school. Now as usual, I would get off early, get ready for school, get my bag, and get to the bus station. Damn, I'm running late. Where's my CD player? I checked the closet, no CD player. Checked all around my room, no CD player. I know I put it next to my bag yesterday. Now since I was running out of time, I decided to get to the bus station and look for the CD player after school. Onward, and it's after school. I get to the crib, get to my room, and the CD CD player was laying on my bed. Hold up. I know this wasn't here earlier this morning. Then it hit me. My brother must have taken it to school earlier this morning. So just to make sure everything was good, I sat on the bed and turned on the CD player. What the? It's not working. I changed the batteries, turned it back on. Still, the CD player wouldn't work. Damn, I think this fool broke my CD player. So I get to my brother's room. Yo, Lim, did you break my CD player? What? I know you took it earlier this morning. Man, no, I didn't. I'm not playing. You gonna pay me for a new CD player. Man, shut up and get out my room. Now it's on, on. See, it's one thing taking my stuff, but breaking it, ooh, oh, hell no. So to get my payback, I waited until nighttime, right? When this fool went to bed. All right, Tim, it's payback time. So I get to the kitchen and fill the bucket with ice cold water. This is what you get for breaking my stuff. Then I got to my brother's room. What you got to say now? Now this fool's up and pissed. What the hell? Did you just pour ice cold water on my bed? Yeah, that's what you get for breaking my CD player, punk. Now it's time to throw hands. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you up, kid. Man, fuck you. Oh, nice moves. Oh, you thought this was gonna be easy. Okay, kid, how about this? Ow! I think you broke my nose. What is going on here? He broke my nose, daddy. Boy, did you just break your brother's nose? He started it. No, he did. I've had it with you two. So for punishment, my dad came up with a dark and twisted idea. You two, go in that room and sit there until the sun comes up. And I don't want to hear anything. So we get to the room, sat opposite each other, pissed as pissed could be, and started waiting for the night to end. I told you not to take my stuff. So, man, I hate you. I hate you too. I hate you more. Well, I hope you die. I hope you die and go to hell. Did I just hear you two speak? You know what? Explain to me how you got into this. So, I started explaining the whole situation to my dad. Let me get this right. So, you broke the CD player that I just brought for your brother? Well, it was an accident. And then, you broke your brother's nose? Well, that was an accident too. Tim, go get my belt. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It's about damn time this fool feels the wrath of the black love. So I get to my dad's room, get his favorite bill, and took it back to him. Here you go, dad. Oh, no, 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 son. This time, I want you to whoop your brother. What?
Now, I knew this was Christmas, but mm, they know Santa was coming this early. I'm about to whip this boy back to slavery. Dad, no, please, don't make Tim whoop me. That's right, punk. You about to call me Massa. So I closed my eyes, dug deep, and felt all the rage I had for my brother. Get your ah! ass over here, boy. Ah! That's right, who's the man now? Oh, don't you cry now. Man, it feels so good to whip this boy. I know parents say they whoop you because they love you, but mm, mm, I beg to differ. They whoop you to release their anger because it feels so good to f*** this stuff. All right, Tim, that's enough. Tim, that's enough. <laughs> So how did that feel? Oh, it felt good, Dad. Can I do it again? No, I think your brother's got the point. Now, since I got my revenge, I decided to get to the kitchen, get a nice cold drink for breaking a sweat, then get to my bed and have a cozy night. Oh, wait, son. Yes, Dad? You didn't think your brother wouldn't get his turn, did you? What? Here, son. Now you whoop your brother for pouring water in your bed. No, Dad, no! Oh, I'm about to kill you. Moral of the story. No family is perfect. We argue, we fight, we even stop talking to each other at times. But in the end, family is family. The love will always be there. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. First thing first, your boy dropped two videos in one week. Ooh! Can I get a amen? Now, come on, my guy, let's hit that like. Trust me, it really helps your boy. Now, let's get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to my guy, Cameron. Or is it Cameron? What's up, man? I see you, city protector and a photographer. That's what's up, my guy. Can we show the homies some love on IG as not real breaks? Keep doing your thing, fam. Second shout out goes to the homie Kings. What's up, my chick? My man's is a YouTuber for real. Oh, I'm here banging fire videos. Okay, dog. Well, let's show the homies some love on IG as Kings MS underscore 93 and on YouTube as Kings MS 93. Keep grinding, bro. And let's shout out goes to the one and only Lamborghini. I like the way you spell that, my guy. My man's is out here doing his thing on IG. So, can we show him some love on Instagram as daily memes underscore and underscore vines? Keep doing your thing, bro. If you want a chance to win a shout out, subscribe to the channel, follow your boy on IG, and send me that screenshot. As always, live timeless.